Greetings, nature enthusiasts. Today, embark with us on a journey into the heart of Africa's natural splendor, Pilanesburg National Park. Home to over 6,000 animals, including the Big Five of the African Animal Kingdom, Pilanesburg Game Reserve is the fourth largest park in Southern Africa. It offers an easy and enjoyable safari experience in a safe, malaria-free environment. This expansive sanctuary, situated in the northwest province of South Africa, unfolds like a living tapestry of biodiversity and wonder. To truly appreciate Pilanesburg, let's start with its origins. Formed within the crater of an ancient volcano over a billion years ago, this park is a geological masterpiece. Our journey begins by exploring its diverse landscapes, from the rugged terrain to the lush woodlands that define its unique geography. Pilanesburg Game Reserve is regarded as one of the top birding destinations in Southern Africa for good reason. There are plenty of opportunities in the reserve to get out of your car and get a closer look at birds. The reserve is dotted with a selection of hides at dams, where a dedicated birder can patiently wait to spot the bird he or she is looking for. Now let's delve into the heart of Pilanesburg, its wildlife. Encounters with the Big Five are not just a possibility, they are a guarantee. From the regal lions basking in the sun to the majestic elephants wandering the savannah, each species tells a story of survival and coexistence in this enchanting landscape. A wide variety of rare and common species exist with endemic species like the nocturnal brown hyena, the fleet-footed cheetah, the majestic sable, as well as giraffe, zebra, hippo and crocodile, to mention but a few. Pilanesburg is not just about the Big Five. Witness the intricate dance of life as we explore the diverse flora and fauna that call this park home. Our journey takes a solemn turn as we confront the conservation challenges that Pilanesburg faces. Poaching, Habitat loss. These threats demand our attention. But fear not, for the guardians of Pilanesburg, both human and wild, are working tirelessly to secure a future where nature thrives. Pilanesburg is not just a refuge for wildlife. It's a harmonious meeting ground of human and nature. Explore the symbiotic relationship between local communities and the park, where cultural richness and environmental sustainability coalesce. From the smallest insects to the most graceful antelopes, every species plays a crucial role in the delicate balance of this thriving ecosystem.
The greater kudu is native to arid regions found throughout southern Africa. Even though they occupy prevalent territory, they are sparingly populated in most areas. This is due to a declining habitat, deforestation and hunting. The greater kudu lives in thick bush veld, rocky hillsides and dry riverbeds. They also need a constant supply of water. The greater kudu feeds on leaves, grass, shoots, tubers, roots and fruit. They have a narrow body with long legs and a brown or bluish grey to reddish brown coat. Their head is darker than the body. There is a small chevron between the eyes and four. Twelve vertical white stripes can be found on the torso. Males are much larger than females. They have a long mane along the throat and large twisted horns. These horns start to grow between six, twelve months. Males weigh between 190-270 kilu while females weigh between 120-210 kilu. A large adult male greater kudu stands over 5 feet 1.5 m tall at the shoulder and a large male lesser kudu stands about 4 feet 1.2 m tall. Males of both species have long horns which point upward and slightly back curling in a corkscrew shape. Amarula is the biggest bull elephant in Pilanesburg National Park. He was transferred with a few others from Kruger National Park back in 1998. Amarula became famous across South Africa back in 2011 for being captured on camera flipping a tourist's car in the park. John Summers described how his life flashed before his eyes as a highly aroused Amarula massaged himself against his car before flipping it over into the bushes. The name was given to the animal due to the silvery blue sheen which features on the short-haired hide. This animal can be found in open plains, bushveld and dry woodlands of southern and east Africa. They often graze with other species such as plain zebras for mutual protection. The blue wildebeest is preyed upon by lions, spotted hyenas and the Nile crocodile. The calf is preyed upon by cheetahs, leopards and wild dogs. These animals can often be found in either mixed herds with a dominant male, female only or bachelor only herds. In the Pilanesberg National Park, we have the plains zebra, also known as a Birchall's zebra, which can be identified by the light-coloured stripe, known as the shadow stripe between the black and white stripes. Other types of zebra do not have a shadow stripe.
Hippopotamuses are large, semi-aquatic mammals native to sub-Saharan Africa. Although their name comes from the Greek for river horse, because of the time they spend in the water, The hippo loop is great to spot all the activities of hippopotamus. You always see animals in this area because of the dam. Giraffes, zebra, warthog, waterbuck, etc. are abundant here. Manqui Drive and Chepi are also great. A short loop, which takes one close to Manqui Dam on a tour in Pilanesburg. Aquatic birds, crocodiles and hippopotamus are generally present here, and early mornings can often provide sightings of predators on a Pilanesburg tour. This region of the Pilanesburg National Park making game viewing on a tour can be a bit hit and miss. But after the rains, small herds of antelope and the predators that follow them on this road. But if there is a sighting, it's often a spectacular one. Herbivores include giraffe, wildebeest, doika, springbok, sesebe, waterbuck, steenbuck, reedbuck, eland and bushbuck. There are also herds of zebra, hartebeest, impala, kudu, gemsbok and sable antelope in Pilanesburg. The 57,000 hectare reserve is brimming with an abundance of Africa's indigenous wildlife and birds and offers a unique mix of fauna and flora. It lies in the transition zone of the arid Kalahari Desert and the lush tropical Lowveld. A morning or evening game drive offers close encounters with not only the Big Five, but a spectacular array of endangered species such as wild dog and cheetah. The Pilanesburg Game Reserve is a birder's paradise with more than 300 bird species to tick off your birding list. It is best to set off in the cooler hours as predators tend to hunt at dusk or dawn. Visitors have the luxury of choosing between driving their own vehicles on the well-maintained reserve roads or they can opt for a game drive with an experienced guide in an open-top safari vehicle. The latter is a unique experience as the rangers are always eager to share their extensive knowledge of the bush and can guarantee your safety at all times. Visitors can take a break from a game drive at one of the many game and bird viewing hides. 
there is nothing better than spending an hour relaxing close to the water's edge. Watching the game saunter down to drink and patiently waiting for a possible predator kill while sipping on your morning cup of coffee. The vegetation in the park is dominated by mountain bushveld with small patches of xerost thornveld in the southern and western regions and sandy bushveld in the extreme easterly regions. There are several species of bush willow in the park, and in summer an abundance of African game can be found eating the greenish-yellow fruits off of the marula trees. Being located within a transition zone between the dry Kalahari and the wetter lowveld or bushveld region, provides an even more diverse wildlife viewing experience with animals that are usually found in arid areas, such as brown hyenas and springbok, being found living alongside wildlife such as impala, who are usually found in moist or wetter regions. This dainty antelope is indigenous to the dry, arid regions of South Africa, but isolated groups have settled in the Pilanesberg habitats that mimic the dry Kalahari Desert. They are easily recognizable in full flight, leaping high into the air when pursued by a predator. They are able to withstand long bouts of drought and can go indefinite periods without drinking water. Sometimes watching game from inside a car is just not good enough. For the intrepid adventure, there is nothing quite like experiencing the sights and sounds of the bush on foot. An experienced, qualified guide shares his extensive knowledge of the vegetation, insects and reptiles that are not found in the guidebooks. The bush comes alive when you experience a safari using all your five senses. It's a great opportunity for novice and experienced photographers to capture the perfect wildlife or birding shot and each experience is unique. The guided hikes are available seven days a week, all year round, regardless of the weather. Contact Pilanesberg Hiking Trails for more information.
There are five picnic spots in the reserve, and three of them are located high up on hills, with magnificent views of the plains and dams below. The Fish Eagle picnic spot overlooks Manqui Dam, and there are two picnic spots on Bailey Drive. All picnic spots have braai barbecue facilities, lots of shade, clean toilets, and are securely fenced to keep dangerous animals out. Ongoing poaching is a serious threat to rhino populations all over southern and east Africa. Pilanesburg has established itself as a stronghold for both African rhino species, the black and the white rhinoceros. The curious creature is among the largest land mammals and is easily recognized by the two horns on its large head. But both species are threatened by poaching Rhino horn is falsely believed to have medicinal purposes, and hence poachers kill rhinos solely for the purpose of taking their horns. Saving the future of both black and white rhinoceros is one of the major conservation challenges of our time.
blue wildebeest antelope is easily recognized in the park. It has a long black mane and a beard of hair that hangs from its throat and neck. Both sexes grow short curved horns and adult bull's horns are heavily bossed. The blue wildebeest is a gregarious herbivore and prefers to live in large herds. A warthog from the Pilanesberg National Park in South Africa in search of food in the African savanna. This herbivorous animal, also known as Pumba, lives freely in the wild. The cheetah is known as the only cat with non-retractable claws and pads that don't allow gripping. There are only a few leopard in the park and sightings are, predictably, less common and require a lot of luck or a lot of time and vigilance or a combination of the two. The lion can live 10, 14 years in the wild and 20 plus years in captivity. Males in the wild rarely live past 10 years of age due to rivalry and fights with other males. They are the tallest in shoulder height of all felines. Their coat color varies from yellowish red to dark brown. The lion's underparts are lighter with a black tail tuft. A male lion weighs between 150 to 250 kilograms, and the female weighs 120 to 182 kilograms. Head and body length is 170-250 cm for males and 14-175 cm for females. Shoulder height is 123 cm for males and 91 cm for females. The characteristic shared by both male and female lions is the hairy tuft at the end of the tail. The tuft develops in cubs at five and a half months and is fully visible at seven months.
prey consists of wildebeest, zebras, impalas, buffalo, and warthogs. A male lion requires about 7 kilograms of meat daily, and a female requires 5 kilo. There is no specific mating period for the lions. A female will mate with more than one male while she is in heat. The gestation period lasts 110 days, and one, four cubs are born per litter. Cubs weigh between 1.2, 2.1 kilograms at birth and are blind. They can crawl one or two days after birth and start to walk after three days. Until the cubs are six, eight weeks old, the mother stays in isolation from the rest of her pride. 80% of cubs die before they turn two. Weaning takes place at around six, seven months. Males mature at T3 years old and can challenge other males at four, five years old. The lion's roar can be heard from eight ketalas away. While the lion is at the top of the food chain and has no predators, it mostly dies a violent death due to humans or other lions. As we approach the conclusion of our journey, let's discover the myriad ways visitors can immerse themselves in Pilanisburg. Safari adventures, bird watching, and cultural experiences await those who seek a deeper connection with the wild. In the tapestry of Pilanisberg National Park, we find a timeless sanctuary that invites us to witness, appreciate, and protect the marvels of the natural world. As our journey concludes, let this be an enduring call to action, to preserve, to cherish, and to pass on the legacy of Pilanisberg to generations yet to come.